Rayquaza is a dragonflying type legendary Pokémon living in the ozone layer. First introduced to the Pokémon world starting in Generation 3. It is said that, in order to survive in the ozone layer, it feeds on water particles and pieces of meteorite that are used for its sustenance as well as for its mega evolution. The creators of Rayquaza were inspired by the base of the Oriental Dragon, with elements of the Zizim mythological being that indicates a huge bird, but also second in some interpretations to the Griffins. In addition, the mythological Pokémon is also based on the Aztec wind god Quetzalcoatl. Often depicted as a feathered snake. What do are the mythological origins of the Pokémon? Long ago when the sea and the earth had just formed, nature was in symbiosis with everything around it including humans. where they themselves at the time, worshipped the two deities who watched over them, Primal Kaya breathed the being of the oceans, and Primal Ground, the being of the earth. However, they spent time colliding continuously causing disaster and destruction wherever they passed. Entire civilizations drowned, and entire peoples incinerated by heat, the world was about to disappear, and humans were about to die out. One day after centuries of non-stop fighting, a meteor shower fell in the home region. People tired of the situation began to pray. But suddenly a huge dragon named Rayquaza descended from the sky to save humanity from the impending catastrophe forcing the two beasts to hibernate with his strength. After that event there were many years of peace and prosperity. But one day a gigantic meteorite fell, resulting in the city, known as Cetopolis City, awakening Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon who began to fight each other. Breaking the balance they had conquered over the years. The descendants of those who summoned Rayquaza for the first time gathered once again in prayer. Where suddenly the legendary Rayquaza intervened. The legendary Pokémon presented itself with another appearance, known as Mega Rayquaza. Described with its golden filaments, thus absorbing all the primal powers of Kyogre and Groudon, and returning them to nature. The two titans again fell into a deep sleep and Rayquaza returned to his normal form, disappeared into the clouds. The people in Thanksgiving built the Sky Pillar in honor of him hoping that the mythological Pokémon could return. Thousands of years passed, the powers of Kyogre and Groudon were locked inside the Sapphire Gem and the Ruby Gem. The people to pass on their history in the generations, to come painted murals in the Sky Pillar in memory of these events. Some interpretations narrate that Kyogre and Groudon spontaneously originated from water and earth. Which suggests that Urquaza may have been generated from the Earth's atmosphere, or the weather trio may have been generated directly by Arceus. The trio are guardians of the sea, earth and air, respectively, but despite everything Rayquaza tries to act both as guardian of the air, and guardian of the sea and the earth. Trying to keep the balance of the world more and more. 
surely one of the most interesting and powerful Pokemon, as well as one of the oldest ever that remains forever in our hearts.